20 years ago, the Maastricht Treaty entered force. In view of the enormous importance of that treaty, the Maastricht University organized a conference. The conference brings together former politicians involved in the making of this treaty, academics, policymakers, and present politicians. Maastricht has been obviously important for European law. It has introduced so many new things in different fields from education to culture to democracy to foreign affairs, name it all, that yeah, after 20 years it is a very logical question, so and what have we achieved? Huh? But the answer is not so easy. Indeed, it's good that uh, one takes some time to look back what happened there in Maastricht those days. The Maastricht Treaty was and is very important for the city and the university. Of course, the name of the city of Maastricht is well known, worldwide well known, since 20 years ago the treaty was signed here. And we changed the name into Maastricht University after the treaty, because the treaty of course led to a tremendous importance of the city of Maastricht. The name Maastricht became determining in terms of attracting also international students, so it has had a major influence in terms of attractiveness to foreign students, but also in terms of the content, of course, because uh, what we witness today is also the fact that we, in European law, for instance, are one of the main universities on the continent. At the conference also Ruud Libbers, who was Prime Minister of the Netherlands at the time the treaty was signed. Maastricht added this single currency. It was, of course, money, but it was also the explicit declaration to the world. We Europeans are united. We will be more united. But what about the Maastricht Treaty 20 years after it entered force? The popularity of the European Union seems to be at its lowest point. The big problem is low support for European integration in public opinion, which of course contributes to slowing the integration process for the moment. Um, the economic crisis has not been handled perfectly. The attitude towards refugees is extremely alarming and shameful in many respects. But the European Union is the only place we can solve these problems if we're ever going to solve them. So in that regard, I'm positive about the European Union as an institution and as a process. The European Union uh, remains uh, an elephant in world trade. The problem being that in other areas, like development, like environment, like foreign policy, uh, the level of European integration remains far from what it is in trade. And this imbalance is a problem. An important question at the conference, what about the future? There was a full-fledged monetary integration. There was a half-baked economic and social integration. And this discrepancy appeared in full light at the time of the crisis, which is why it has to be fixed now. Uh, 20, 30, 50 years from now, again, the problem is a problem of speed. If we don't do it quick enough, then Europe will lose its relevance. And as a European, I want the European civilization to remain an option on this planet. At the end of the conference, a book was launched titled 20 Years Treaty on the European Union, Reflections from Maastricht. Written by 30 former and present members of the Maastricht Law Faculty and Maastricht Center of European Law. It is a book that contains a series of contributions on aspects that were introduced by the Maastricht Treaty. So concepts, powers, principles that did not exist before. <laughs>